yourself, right? A lot of people have questions around whether they should be doing Facebook ads or Instagram ads. What is the difference between the two? When should be using one versus another? And hopefully this is gonna get you better results when it comes to your ad campaigns for your own business. Hey guys, this is Camila Gornia. I'm the founder of Heart Behind Hustle. And in this channel, I help impact-driven entrepreneurs, mostly coaches and experts, to grow, scale, and align their business with their heart so they can make their hustle way smoother. If that is you and you're looking for more support to grow your business, go ahead and make sure that you hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna be releasing lots of new videos to help you grow your business this year. I get a lot of questions around Facebook ads. For about three years or so, we were really focusing heavily on my other brand, which is is Camila Social, where most of the income was actually coming in through Facebook ads management for coaches and um, different agencies, course creators, people like that. And there's still a lot of questions I get for this. It's still kind of like a behind the scenes uh, business that we run as well. But being able to run Facebook ads or Instagram ads can be extremely effective when it comes to getting more leads for you and your business. What I want to share with you in this video is just some of the things that I've noticed when it comes to comparing Instagram and Facebook in terms of the cost per lead or just effectiveness when it comes to reach and things like that. Most of the people that I actually work with are coaches or course creators or agency owners or freelancers, you know, those types of people. People actually wanna share their gifts, talents, and skills with the world versus necessarily selling products. But if you sell products, that's fine too. I'll share a couple things on this. But I wanna talk about Facebook ads first because Facebook ads is typically what I recommend for most of my clients to start out with. Pretty much everybody is on Facebook. It's really, like even if you're not on Facebook that much, it's likely that your ideal clients are on Facebook. They're using the platform to connect with friends or maybe they're entrepreneurs or professionals as well. So they're staying connected with their own colleagues or their own prospective clients because you know Facebook groups and um, it's just a great way to connect with potential people. Facebook ads obviously has gotten a lot of competition lately because Facebook ads are actually super easy to set up and you don't really need to be genius to be able to set up a really high converting ad campaign. A lot of our clients, uh, and I'm not even talking about done for you clients, I'm talking about coaching clients or uh, even our course clients are getting incredible results like paying less than a dollar per lead even today. And it's because it's really not that difficult to get effective ads up as long as you know what you're doing. Now, uh, I have found that Facebook tends to be a little bit cheaper for most clients. Now, I, I am saying most, I'm not saying every single client. I obviously don't know what your business is like and I don't know what you're selling. So it could be completely different for you. But for most of our coach clients, uh, Facebook tends to be a little bit cheaper. And the reason why is because you can do longer videos on Facebook, you could actually run an ad for a very, very long video, share a lot of value in that video. It's just a different strategy when it comes to reaching people. Your brand awareness sequence ad campaign can be a lot more effective because of how people are engaging with your stuff on Facebook. You know, people are more willing to share comments. People can share a video or an image that they see on Facebook on their own profile, and that's getting more reach to your ads. It's quite not as easy to do that on Instagram. There is significantly more amount of text that you can share in your ads and not every single ad has to be moving into like a link like you need to go and click over to this website to uh, sign up you can also have just textual based uh, ads you can have just video ads you can have ads that are going to your messenger which uh, is super easy you can do a whole lot of things when it comes to just directly Facebook so I personally love Facebook. It's what I tend to use the most for my clients and for my own business. And it tends to work really well in terms of the cost per lead. Now I will say that sometimes using Instagram can also be a very effective tool. And you always wanna make sure that you're split testing because you never know which platform is gonna be actually more effective for you. Don't just say that Camila's saying Facebook is better so I'm just gonna focus on Facebook. Do your own testing, see what works better versus not. Instagram tends to work super, super 
super well, especially if you're selling uh, products, like physical products. Uh, I have a couple of friends who sell beauty products on uh, Instagram and that performs super great. Now I will say on, it, on Facebook, it performs really well too because they can do longer videos, but overall Instagram is killing it as well. Anything that is a retargeting based can work really well on Instagram, whether it's a story ad or just an ad in the feed on Instagram, it can be very, very effective to do that. Now I will say anytime that you are running Instagram ads, you want to make sure that the page you are sending traffic to is mobile optimized. I can't tell you how many times I see people running Instagram ads and then you're clicking over and the website that they're sending traffic to is just like a mess. You can't see anything. It just looks really difficult to navigate. So that does have to be your number one priority if you are going to be using Instagram ads. And I mean, especially even if you're running Facebook ads, because most traffic is actually going to come from mobile. Um, most leads are going to come from mobile, especially nowadays. So uh, actually that's a blanket thing that I'll tell for everybody. Make sure your web page that you're sending traffic to is mobile optimized. Another thing that's really important is you want to make sure on Instagram, your ads are looking pretty uh, native as much as possible. So you have a good amount of text. It looks like an engaging image, or if it's a video, that's even better. Video wins just pretty much anywhere, whether it's on Facebook or on Instagram, especially on Instagram. So you want to make sure you're being really engaging. The video is bright. So you can actually, uh, you actually want to watch it. Uh, if there's captions, even better, that performs super, super well. But uh, you do want to make sure that because Instagram is a very visual platform, your videos or images do have to be visually appealing, right? It can't just be a picture that you, that you take of yourself in like a closet or you can't see anything. That's not really going to perform very well. So you want to make sure it's well lit. You want to make sure that, you know, that the image of the person or you looks pretty decent. And that's not to say that you have to be like the most beautiful person in the world. It just has to like the quality of it has to be pretty good. Um, or if you're using a designed image, like a designer did it, uh, I don't know why I did this for designer. Uh, if a designer did it, you want to make sure it's like fun and just stands out. And it's something that people would actually want to stop scrolling on and engage with. Because the biggest thing that people do on Instagram is they're scrolling, they're double tapping to, to do a little heart. But just because they're double tapping and giving you engagement doesn't mean that your ad is gonna get more leads. What you want your ad to do is to have people stop and actually either watch the video or read the caption that is attached to that video or image. And if they're not doing that, if they're just double tapping and giving you some love, well, that's not why we're doing the ad, is it? We're doing the ad to get leads or to get clicks to the site. So you wanna make sure that uh, you're doing that if you're using Instagram. It's just a little bit you know, trickier to get that that work done because people are just behaving a little bit differently on Instagram. So if you're a coach or if you're a course creator, really good for retargeting. You do have to be a little bit creative when it comes to Instagram for your course launches. So just work with a strategist ideally to get some ideas flowing. If you can't get your Instagram ads to be super effective on your own, that's totally fine. But overall, I mean, you have to just test it yourself. So I know you're capable of making amazing things happen. So go ahead and test it. And I can't wait to hear how it goes. If you have any questions, obviously let me know. And if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel quite yet, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. So you can be notified of when the next videos are coming out because I have plenty more to share with you around business and marketing strategies to help you grow your impact-driven business to that next level. See you in the next video.